Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Yeah, not bad. Wonderful so, to have you here just there. Thank you. Thank you very much. Wonderful. Should we get right into it? Let's go for it. Alright, wonderful. So, Liam Luscombe. Hello. Absolute pleasure to have you here. It's my pleasure. Wonderful. Well, my first question for you is, mm -hmm. how was it working on the set of Alec and Monster? Yes, Alec and Monster. Ah, great, great working on the set. Um, the director, Dion Pace Dove, um, the legend. Um, had a vision that the whole, all the people involved, crew, cameramen, editors, everything, um, followed throughout the whole uh, process of creating this, this amazing series. And that vision was just, it was so open-minded. He, uh, he was so open to anyone's ideas, um, but he, he also was adamant that he wanted this, this show to be successful. So he worked, 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 worked until he got it right. So, mm. yeah. No, well, that sounds good, yeah. Um, another, another good question here. Yeah. Do you feel that anyone on set helped you in particular? I mean, you mentioned Dion Page Dove. Yeah, was he a, yeah, Dion Page Dove. He, uh, I worked with him the most, I would say, um, other than my assistants. Uh, the director, uh, Dion, was he was yeah he he was with me the whole time, telling me his ideas, his vision, everything that he wanted that he wanted in the show and what the show want, what it was about. Um, yeah, he was just, he had this, his mind was so focused on getting the best possible results out of mm. all the, all, everyone here, me, all the other actors as well. So, um, yeah, I'd say Dion Pace Dove was the biggest help in, mm -hmm. on set. Sounds good to work on him, right? Mm. Uh, so, bit of a dodgy question here, you might not be able to answer much. Right, but, uh, yeah. Later on in the season, how does the mystery of the monster develop? Right, yeah. Well, without, without giving too much away, of course, of course. Um, the storyline, it develops in a very special way you might not have seen before in other series, but yeah, you've just, you just got you to wait and find out, so wait till release date. That's the KG answer, understandably. Yeah. Understandably. We'll move on from that one. Absolutely. Take you out the hot seat. <laughs> <laughs> How does this show differ from anything that you've starred in before? Um, well, it's actually it's, it's my first horror. It's, it is my first horror, so um, the acting style changed, um, the the storyline changed, obviously. Um, but I'd say it differs because it's very much focusing on how we can influence the audience instead of maybe entertaining the audience. But the horror, you're focusing more on um, actually creating because it is a it's a genre where you have to uh, influence the audience to make it. Like the jump scares or the or the, uh, the horror aspects, I think the way we yeah the way we act, the way the the camera work, the editing, it all changes. So um, so a new experience. It's, yeah, it's, yeah, new experience. Yeah, wonderful. That's always fun, isn't that? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, of course. Um, so a quick question on the casting because there's been a lot of news surrounding yeah. it. Yeah. How did you actually get chosen for this role? Good, very good question. Um, so the audition process was, I say, it's about twelve. 13 months ago now, um, where I wasn't the only one who went for it. You got, uh, I think, DiCaprio went for it. Um, wow. De, De Niro went for it. Um, I mean, there's a lot of news surrounding Brad Pitt as well. Brad Pitt, yeah. Brad Pitt, yeah, he's going for it. Um, Holland, Holland went for it. Tom Holland was yeah, Tom well. Holland. Some great actors in this. Great so how actors. did you end up with this role? Then? No idea. Really? Yeah. I was, I'm just a man. He must have seen something in me that just. Um, yeah, it just stood out for him really, and uh, I say it is my first one, so maybe he saw that it was my first time maybe doing a horror, so uh, maybe I mean, he must give me the chance. We've all seen the trailer, and we think you're absolutely incredible just from that, much. so he clearly saw something special, absolutely. and he was right. I hope so. I hope so. Yeah. Thank you very much. So, uh, a, bit of a, a bit of a different question here, so right. what do you have for breakfast on set? Breakfast? Uh, yes. Good yeah. question. Uh, so, the first day I went on, I remember this, because uh, my first day on set, obviously. You remember everything about your first day? Mm. Uh, the classic Weetabix with some, Weetabix. With some bananas and. Uh, yeah, giving you the strength. Absolutely, yeah, get me through the day. You must have had that from the trailer, we all saw. You had the strength during oh, that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Weetabix every day. Maybe a bit of oats in the morning, overnight oats. You know, everyone loves overnight oats. Yeah, everyone does love overnight oats. Absolutely. What were well, the meals good on the set? You know, the lunch yeah. and the dinner? Oh, cafeteria crew, honestly. Top, yeah, I mean, top, top of the industry. I mean, we hear you know, horror stories about some of the food that's served yeah. on the set, so Absolutely. clearly they've invested into their actors, they care. Absolutely. This production. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was that was all part of Dylan Pace's vision, just making sure everyone's yeah. comfortable and able to produce 
the top of the line work. Wow. You re- did you say that had a real influence on oh the food? How you actually? Oh, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Got biggest me, got biggest me, factor. Got me through the day. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Liam, it's been an absolute pleasure. Absolute and pleasure. thank you for your time. No I know you're a busy man, so it means a lot. Yeah. Thank you very much. No worries. Thank you. Appreciate it.